in this video, we are going to talk about graphical vector addition. Recall that vectors are quantities that involve magnitude and direction in their measurements. Let's say that we are asked to look for the total displacement of an object that follows three paths or displacements on a flat surface. You are given these three vectors that you need to add without having to calculate anything. To do this, you may either use the polygon method or the parallelogram method. For this video, we will be using the first one. For both methods, you need to graphically represent each vector in a Cartesian plane. Always remember to include labels in each axis in drawing. We begin doing the polygon method by plotting the first vector, and we do this by measuring 30 degrees from the east going northwards. Then draw a 3 cm long arrow from the origin. Drawing arrowheads is important because they indicate the final point for each vector. Additionally, labeling each vector line is important to avoid confusion. You now have plotted your first vector. To proceed, it is recommended to draw a line parallel to either axis for an accurate reference of your measurements. You may use a triangle and a ruler in drawing parallel lines. Do this by aligning one side of a triangle with one of the axes and placing your ruler or another triangle as such. Slide the triangle along the ruler until it reaches the arrowhead of your last drawn vector line. Then, draw a dash line or a construction line like this. You can now properly align the straight side of your protractor to the dash line you just drew, placing its center at the endpoint of vector 1. You may now proceed doing the same procedures under step B for the second vector. Now that you've drawn your second vector line, you can draw another dash line as reference now for drawing your third vector. For this third vector, take note of the direction. Since it is 25 degrees south of west, you should measure your angle from the west going southward. Then proceed with drawing a 5 cm line in that direction. Now that you have plotted the three given vectors, you may already delineate your resultant vector, which represents the total displacement of your object. Do this by drawing an arrow from the origin to the endpoint or arrowhead of the last vector that you drew. Finally, measure the magnitude and direction of this resultant vector. The resultant vector has a magnitude of around 2 cm and a direction of 12 degrees north of east. This is the final displacement of the object for this example. Sometimes, there would be examples wherein the given vectors would form an enclosed polygon. That is, the endpoint of the last vector would be at the origin itself. If this happens, the resultant vector would have zero net magnitude and zero net change in direction. We would then have what is called a zero resultant vector or a zero vector. That's it for this video. I hope you were able to understand how to do graphical vector addition using the polygon method. The next video will discuss the other method, which is the parallelogram method. If you have any suggestions on what other topics you would like me to discuss, feel free to put a comment down below. Thank you, and don't stop learning something new every day. Peace.